Hello and welcome to the NBS show, this is number 433, I'm your host, Sanzo, and well, we've got some news for you this week. Let's not dilly dally and let's hop right into it. So, first up, um, two best sister plays Pokemon Snap taken down by YouTube for community guideline violation. So, um, I know that the video is already up and it's been age restricted and whatnot, but I'll just break it down to you. Uh, a while back, animated to Snacks, known, best known for two best sisters play, uh, his video got taken down by YouTube for uh, guideline violations and whatnot. Um, according to Sifisto here, to Snack over on YouTube, apparently had his two best sister plays Pokemon Snap taken down for violation of community guidelines. This is pretty much came out of nowhere and was apparently reviewed and approved to for removal according to the message received above. Uh, they don't list an actual reason for it and right now it's being appealed with how viral his more recent videos have become. There is always a chance it was a false flag and lazy YouTube reviewers or automated bot that caused it. For now, all we can really do is wait for a response and hope it comes back while crossing our finger YouTube isn't suddenly going after parody videos. And like I mentioned before, update, it has returned with an age restrict. It looks like the language was the issue. So, um, what this is in general is that um, video was taken down because hey um it's a video of ponies playing pokemon and yay that's kid friendly yes um it was surely meant for kids but oh no there's swearing and cursing because the original audio was taken from two best friends play and if you seen two best friends play they can be raunchy at times yes so yes um to Snacks, the animator, created the uh, video using Princess Celestia and Princess Luna, voice, uh, but using the voice of Matt and Pat to, well, give life to the characters. And I- I'm guessing that some of the scenes were not kid-friendly. And like how Sylvester to mention, how popular To Snacks has became. Uh, yeah, it's... Let's just say it's... Um, how do I put this? It's been a pretty wild ride. But it's, it came back right now, so that's good. So, uh, I, I guess the lesson to take from all of this is that if you believe that your stuff is, uh, what it meant to be, just put it up, uh, just try to appeal it because, well, the thing is, this video came out a while back, so it's really strange for them to kind of take it down for stuff. Anyway, um, let's move on to the next news. So next news is Kotobukiya release image of Alter Limited Edition Color Variant for Twilight Sparkle. And like I mentioned before, this variant here is according to, well, what we've seen. Uh, Twilight's hair is sparkly, her skin tone matches the pony coat. And um, honestly, I don't find any links for the pony version of it. Um, so I'm guessing there's one up probably on their tutor or something like that. But yeah, uh, if you are interested in this, go pre-order it at your local anime shop and whatnot. Uh, Amiami is a good place to do it if you can afford it. <laughs> I certainly can't. And yeah, uh, well, I, I really want to get that Sunset Shimmer one. But let's move on. And last but not least... G4 fan artist Imalu did freelance character design work on upcoming 2021 My Little Pony movie. So, uh, Game Leon here wrote, uh, Imalu, known in the fandom for her many gorgeous piece of G4 related fan art over the past nine years, have revealed that she has Done ref, uh, sorry, done freelance work for the upcoming movie. In the past three years, Imalu 
work both at and with Boulder Media, an Irish animation studio acquired by Hasbro a few years ago as part of the effort to bring a new cast of ponies to the big screen next year. While Imalu's work on the movie was completed this week, we still have we still have to wait while uh, wait a little while before we can see the result. As of now, the movie is scheduled for release for September twenty fourth, two thousand twenty one. So just a little and you to go. Yes, and here's the tweet. Uh, today is my last day freelancing for the Pony Movie. I have learned a lot on this project since I started three years ago. I've met so many talented people. Sorry, uh, I met, I've met so many talented people. Some became new friends. Uh, friends, this team was definitely my second family. I just can't wait for its release. So that's awesome, yo. Um, it's not rare for what you call this uh, fan artist to get into the business because, well, take a look, see, uh, her work is awesome, and we got no idea what's the scope for this project because all we know that it's going to be a new series. This is going to be the start of the what you call this uh, new generation. But we got no idea how they're going to look. Uh, there were some leaks about stuff. But with things going on, we now know that uh, we're not going to get the main six again. Uh, the main six are Twilight Sparkle, Fluttershy, Rainbow Dash, Applejack, Rarity, and Pinkie Pie. Uh, we're not going to get them. So probably we're going to get a new set of six or maybe five. Who knows? And we got no idea uh, what's the story going to be like. Is it going to be action adventure, size of life adventure, and so on. So it'll be an interesting thing to wait and see. Um, in all honesty, I can't wait to check it out. I hope that the movie do well and we get something new out of this. Um, besides that, I checked out uh, Imalu, Imalu's work, and they were awesome and pretty. Um, by the way, this is just a character design work, so uh, it may not reflect the final product. So if you're thinking that, oh, uh, this is how Imalu's work is, uh, I can reflect that on to the future. Uh, no, because reference work sometimes doesn't look similar to how the finished product will look. Uh, you can check out any um, behind the scene uh, books, like what do you call this? Art books for movies or games and whatnot. Sometimes the design for one character is not going to be the final uh, version of said character and whatnot. But still, it, this is one of those interesting facts that I find very fascinating. And yeah, it's always awesome to hear an. Uh, a fan work or a fan working for the show that they love. Uh, I've seen this happen with Pixel Kitties and many more. But anywho, um, that's the news for this week. And well, let's move on to the next news or next topic actually. And said topic is what have I been doing with my week? This week has been pretty dull. Nothing new in terms of entertainment. No movies came out, but I do really want to watch one, but I don't have the money or time. Um, uh, what else? There's no new game I've been playing. There should be one or few, but I haven't had the time. Like, um, money and time is what I'm lacking of right now. But anyway, um, what I've been doing is helping a friend move house. Uh, my friend's going to be moving soonish and asked me if I could help move. I said yes and well, uh, for the past two days, I've been lifting heavy stuff. My shoulder's hurting and I am 
well, just my body is tired. That's all. Um, but <laughs> that's what I've been doing. It's, not, it's nothing fancy. Um, but what did came out recently was one of the new uh, Magic the Gathering sets. I know that I shouldn't really be talking about it here because, well, uh, some of you guys might not like the Magic the Gathering talk. But hey, um, I'll, I'll just uh, promote it a bit, you know, uh, just in case you guys are interested. Uh, the Gatewatch cast, I host a Magic the Gathering podcast and recently we just released a video of the recent Zendikar Rising Commander decks. Uh, let me show you. Yes. Oh no, wait. Yep, yeah, uh, yes. This is what I have been doing. Yes, this, this is something else I've been doing. Yes. <laughs> so, yes, uh, I, I do hope that you give it a watch and see if you like it or not. Uh, I do record it with a friend of mine at our lo- at, <laughs> at our LGS. Uh, it's a lot of fun. And yeah, if you do like the card games and whatnot, um, do give it a subscribe and like it and whatnot. Uh, other than that, uh, nothing much. Nothing much. So, anywho, let's move on to, well, wrapping up. <clears throat> so, anyway, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at com. You can also reach us, us <laughs> you can also reach us, us on the Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at MBS Show. And my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Uh, also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And Stitch Radio, and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyLive.com. Links will be in the show notes. Also, do subscribe and rate us on iTunes and YouTube for the review and discussion podcast. Over there, you'll catch me, Silver Quill, and Totera reviewing the Pony Comics uh, episodes and specials, including movies and whatnot. Sometimes we like to do other things other than ponies. And well, um, one of those things that we recently do was movies. Uh, we recently reviewed the Where El movie UHF. It was really entertaining, it was funny, and it was a blast. Like, I, I do hope that you guys go check out the review and also check out the movie because it's fun. It's really fun. Anyway, if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com. No, wait, sorry. Uh, yes, that's true. Uh, if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com. Show. With your support, you get weekly access to review and discussion podcasts, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Lucky Knight, Jeffrey, Tristan, and also Master of Leg. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo and I'll catch you guys later with another fun episode of your show. See ya!